Occupational hazards account for a fair proportion of admissions to Northampton A&E. But some jobs really should be exempt. Meet Michaela, who's had an unfortunate accident doing the day job. I'm a fundraiser for a charity and my friend ran over my foot. Good morning. Young Duguid and Michaela was out raising money for an animal charity. Her task was to go collecting door to door. Happy with her donations for the day, she arranged for a colleague to pick her up from her last address. Hello, over here. But instead of giving her a lift to help her off her weary feet, he ran over them instead. Giving her a charitable contribution she could have done without. A&E's very own Florence Nightingale, Irina Kutner, takes a look at the flattened foot. Oh dear. And, okay. um, do you want to take your shoe off? Any pains up here? Oh, that. Along the yeah. bottom. So it hurts, yeah, that hurts. <laughs> yeah. Having a one-ton car use your foot as a speed bump could mean Michaela sustained serious damage to her ligaments and tendons. Oh, that really hurts. Kneel on there and face the wall. What I'm going to do is just gently squeeze you there. Can you see that movement there, which shows me the Achilles tendons in town? Although the tendons in one piece, an X-ray is needed to see if there's any damage to the bones in Michaela's foot. This area is less protected from fatty tissue than arms and legs, so when the car drove over her tootsies, the bones and ligaments would have taken the full force. Plus, her flimsy retro plimp soles wouldn't have offered any protection at all. But I'll take this A&E. Yeah. Yeah. Irina checks out the results. Just quite generalised um, tenderness over her foot, but it seems to be the worst over the ligaments. Um, can't see anything on there. There's nothing broken in her foot, but you would have thought something like that would break. So Irina's gift to Michaela is the good news that there are no fractures. I think there's a lot of um, bruising. Soft tissue injury around there. Okay. Put a support bandage on that, see if I can support will help you. Yeah. Um, but what you need to do is get some ice on it, ice, rest and elevation. With strict instructions to rest up and do nothing but polish her halo, Michaela has time to work out how to avoid an accident like this being her lasting legacy. Don't go near any reversing cars. Rest my foot, definitely, because I'm not doing that again. And this, I'm going to be wearing like proper walking shoes, actually designed to support your ankle and your feet, so I actually won't like, hopefully fall over and make a twat out of myself, to be honest. <laughs>